All right, Kill Skill Sauce here with the SauceSite.com information type things on crypto and the blockchain information. And what we're going to do here today is another show on one person who does crypto shows, and that is Young Crypto Zombie. I would say Young Crypto Zombie is probably like my number one person that I watch. Maybe. Um, I say personally for myself that I guess I like his show the best overall. Um, if you've been watching, you know I've already done a show on Peter for Decentralized TV, and that is probably like the number one show that I watch every day because. He puts out these short shows, and uh, he, which in, in that term, he'll get a chance to do like five a day on average. Um, Crypto Zombie is different. He has a more put together show, um, and a lot of his shows will be 20 minutes long on average. So, as you can see with these couple of shows right here, that's exactly what's going on. Like, when he does his basic crypto news, like I said, around 20 minute shows, uh, he's an editor, so he has funny content, you know? He'll add it in a little humor into the beginning of his show, throughout his show. So he has some, you know, good humor that I like. And uh, it's, it's more about the show is very informative. Um, unlike myself, he kind of talks a lot faster and probably doesn't say things like, um, and you know what I'm saying a whole lot. <laughs> like I do, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. Uh, also... He has more in-depth interview. He has more of a chance of... He has more of an opportunity to get a hold of people and talk to them in-depth about the things that they're doing in the crypto space with their crypto. Um, and things of that nature. Because a lot of these people that you see right here on the channel that he has, like if it says it's Apex, then that person is from Apex. If it's from Matrix, that person is a high up person in Matrix. It's Block Cloud, I, I, Icon, or whatever. You know, he's doing the interview. That person is somebody who's worth listening to in that interview. All right. Uh, a lot of things uh, another thing he does is of course live shows but this this part right here is uh, a couple of people who do these shows will get together and they'll connect their show and do one big show with all of them and uh it's not so much of an interview show is have you ever seen like three or four hosts of uh, different shows get together and do one show like it'd be crazy to see you know Arsenio Hall and Donahue and you know Oprah and all of that stuff say hey let's combine our show and do a show yeah I, I went old school like that because I don't watch TV anymore so definitely I wasn't going to bring up any new examples because I don't have any new examples for you I don't watch TV like that anymore this is my knowledge and education and my entertainment so I come in here to YouTube DTube yes Watch a lot of detail as well. That's coming and you know it. So I watch a lot of detail and a little YouTube here. And that's where all my knowledge and entertainment and everything comes from. You know, internet. 
And they also have this show called The Token Tank. Now, The Token Tank is also different. Remember when I just said about three or four of these hosts getting together and doing one show? Well, they also decided to put this thing together called Token Tank, where three, where four other hosts will get together. And they have one of these people from uh, uh, Cryptocurrency high up in the cryptocurrency on on the some on the board uh something in it, you know high up and they can answer a lot of questions for the community of that coin and other people who are investors and in, uh things of that nature so um so they'll do a little thing where it's like the four hosts will be in the corner and the one person from let's say ontology here will be in the middle and they pretty much grill them with questions on the spot non-rehearsed uh i don't think they even send the person the questions ahead of time or anything like that uh i think i remember a show or two where they said they kind of didn't want to do it with the person because they didn't want to do it unless the questions were forward ahead of time and no go on the tank get grilled let the t let your community know what's going on. Don't hide stuff. You know this is the new day and age of this, and this is what this means in this world. Now we're gonna be a lot more honest with each other, and a lot of things are gonna be more straightforward. And uh, let's get back to the token. I mean, crypto zombie. You know, I know a little tr a little loss of train of thought. Don't want to go too deep sometimes because uh, I don't want to say things just all off too far. Other than that, I say check out Crypto Zombie if you want a show this entertaining. Uh, informative he's gonna go over the news with you every day and plus the interviews plus he is part of the token tank you know you know um, to me that's why he's pretty much kind of like my number one because he's really out here he's getting down uh, creating content for you uh, almost on a daily basis pretty much a daily basis sometimes and, and this is another reason why I watch him because sometimes he doesn't have a chance to create content because he goes to conferences and things of that nature, crypto conferences. And uh, but I, I like watching him because right now he's one of the people who's made his whole life about cryptocurrencies and and, and with that type of education and viewpoint. I think you will get some of the best knowledge out of his show. As well as this, it's the, whatever I've said about the other shows that I've already mentioned. Because I haven't done a show about anybody who's doing anything this bad. And I, I, I'm, I'm, it, it's too many people out here that is doing good in this space right now. And have good shows for me to say whether well, this show is terrible or bad or anything like that. Let's just concentrate on the people who are doing real good shows. And this is one. Crypto Zombie. Like that show. <laughs> Nothing really bad about it. Can get a little opinionated. If you want to talk uh any type of critiques that I might have about the show. Um yeah since he does he doesn't really do short shows and that's good you shouldn't try and copy uh, somebody else's format these shows where it come in 15 20 minutes long that's the great niche for his show you have that type of time sit down and watch that type of show bam if you only can watch like four or five minutes yeah decentralized TV you know other than that, this would probably be like my number one show for sitting down and for about 20 or 30 minutes 
you know, like a regular television program and getting the most out of my information in crypto. Uh, trust me, I watch a lot of other shows. You know, but this is probably, I would say, if I had a top 10, this is probably up in there on number one, number two. Right, Crypto Zombie, like the logo, I don't think he should ever change it. Uh, Crypto Zombie, I like the whole concept, I think it's dope. Um, like I said, can probably get a little opinionated in a certain direction about, you know, if you live a certain lifestyle, you don't necessarily live the type of lifestyle this person lives, you know, you know, the opinions of people uh, <clears throat> like this person and the people in his community may be, uh, you know, I'm trying to say stuff in a nice way, <laughs> you know, I won't say anything about supremacy or anything like that. <laughs> But that's how I'm gonna end that note. Other than that, it's a great show. I watch it all the time, you know. So that's about that show. Uh, you want to check out more information from me? I say go directly to my website, saucesite.com, and that's sauce like a hot sauce, and site is in sin, not place. All right, peace.